The infuriated MPs reacted by stopping officials from the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources from representing the ministers. Last week, committee members summoned the Minister of Energy and Mineral Resources, Ruth Nankabirua, and the Finance Minister, Matika Saiger, to appear today over the rising fuel prices, but the ministers instead gave excuses for their absence. And this is the second time we have invited the finance in this committee and they are refusing to appear before the Committee of Finance, of, of Government Assurance. So what I've done today as members of parliament, we as a committee, we have agreed to send back these people and we are forcing them to appear next, on Tuesday next week, 26th, with the Minister of Finance himself, Matia Kasaiga, the PSST, and the Director Budget Minister of Finance, plus energy. So we have enough powers to make this people appear. If they fail, I will invoke police to summon them here, and they will appear. Lugazi Municipality Member of Parliament, Stephen Serubula, warned the ministers to stop undermining the committees of parliament. Because the issue we are discussing is so sensitive, it's affecting the, the, the local Ugandans. As you've heard, for example, even in taxes, they're increasing the fares for people who are moving, each and everything. Bugwere District Roman Member of Parliament, Rachel Magola, said that some of the MPs are dodging their constituencies since they have no answers from their electorates who seek answers on the high fuel prices. The country is bleeding. People are broke because the fuel prices are very high. We needed an explanation so that we can be able to report to Parliament and report to Ugandans to tell them what's going on with the fuel. Every day it's increasing. To, it's soon reaching 7,000 with no explanation from us as the leaders, from government as the caretaker of the Safi, Mokili Baluku and Ramson Muhiri for CTV, PM Edition.